The Sandlot was released April 1, 1993. It went on to gross nearly $5 million on opening weekend and a worldwide total of $34 million. It wasn't extremely popular in theaters but found its niche once it hit video stores. The Sandlot also won Outstanding Youth Ensemble in a Motion Picture at the Young Artist Awards. This is a testament to how much of an impact the film's skilled child actors had on its success. The Sandlot was shot in only 42 days. Writer and director David Mickey Evans said the child actors considered it the best summer of their lives. The film celebrated its 28th anniversary this year. In honor of this achievement, let's take a look at the Sandlot cast grown up. Tom Geary Tom Geary was born in October of 1981. He played Scotty Smalls in The Sandlot when he was 11. He enjoyed a successful acting career after that performance. He starred in Lassie in 1994 and The Last Home Run in 96. His more serious roles include films like Black Hawk Down and Mystic River, as well as The Revenant. A 20th reunion of the cast of The Sandlot was held in Utah in 2011. Tom Geary missed the event after being arrested for headbutting a police officer in a Texas airport. Today, Tom is enjoying a quiet life with his wife, Janelle, and their two sons and one daughter in New Jersey. Mike Vitar Mike Vitar was discovered while waiting in line for a carnival ride. He was the first child actor the casting directors interviewed. They cast him as Benjamin Franklin, Benny the Jet, Rodriguez. Mike found success in other sports films as a child. He earned the role of Luis Mendoza in the final two Mighty Ducks films. His acting career was short but sweet. It lasted only five years before he joined the Los Angeles Fire Department and saved two of his crewmates during a house fire. Patrick Renna Patrick Renna played Hamilton Ham Porter in The Sandlot. The scene-stealing actor earned roles in several other films after that, including 1993's Son-in-Law, 2000's Very Mean Men, and 2003's National Lampoon Presents Dorm Days. Patrick has changed the course of his career in recent years and shifted to TV. He guest starred on shows like Bones and CSI. He's not as famous as he once was, but is enjoying a quieter life. Chauncey Lepardi Chauncey Lepardi began acting at age 5. He already had plenty of experience when he was cast as Squints in The Sandlot. Chauncey originally read for the role of Yeah Yeah. Once the film was already deep into production, he read for the role of Squints instead. He said the switch worked out in his favor because he got to kiss Marley Shelton in the pool scene. Chauncey developed a successful career after The Sandlot. He appeared in Boy Meets World, The House Guest, and Gilmore Girls. He even played his childhood character in the third entry in The Sandlot series, The Sandlot Heading Home. Chauncey also enjoyed gambling and became a noted poker player until a massive loss forced him to return to acting. Marty York Marty York originally read for the role of Bertram, but landed the part of Yeah Yeah instead. His character was memorable for beginning each sentence with the words Yeah Yeah Yeah. Marty acted in TV shows like Boy Meets World and Hey Arnold. His career continued to blossom until a run-in with the law in 2009. Marty York wasn't a muscular kid when he performed in The Sandlot, but he's developed his physique since then. In fact, he's now a personal trainer. Brandon Adams Brandon Adams began his acting career in 1988 when he appeared in Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal music video. He appeared in both The People Under the Stairs and The Sandlot in 1991. In 94, he earned a part in D2, The Mighty Ducks, and guest starred on hit shows like Sister Sister and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He took a break from acting after that and eventually reappeared in the short film Stuck in the Corners. Grant Gelt Grant Gelt's first acting role was as the voice of Franklin in the 1988 miniseries This Is America, Charlie Brown. He originally read for the role of Smalls, but was cast as Bertram Grover Weeks in The Sandlot. He was also cast in TV shows like Boy Meets World and The 60s. His last on-screen role was in 1999. Today, he's moved into a more behind-the-scenes position as the senior executive at Full Screen Direct. Victor DiMattia Victor DiMattia's performance as Timmy Timmons was his first time in front of the camera. He began his voice acting career in 1986, bringing characters to life in shows like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Victor earned more voice roles, including a spot in Adventure in Odyssey. He took a hiatus in 1995, but returned in 2008 as a director on projects such as the short film Last Days in Iraq. He's currently a bartender in L.A. who also writes comedy in his spare time. 
Shane Obedzinski. Shane Obedzinski played Tommy Repeat Timmons. He began his career in 1991 as Billy in My Girl. The Sandlot was one of four films he appeared in from 1991 to 93, but he hasn't been in a feature film since this period. Shane took a break from acting to focus on school after The Sandlot. He eventually opened up a pizza parlor in Florida. He's been avoiding the spotlight since, but anticipates he could return to acting at any time. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Karen Allen Karen Allen's portrayal of Mrs. Smalls brought a wholesome element to the film. She already had an impressive resume before earning the iconic role. Karen's acting career began in 1978. She starred in famous films like Animal House and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Her film appearances after The Sandlot included Malcolm X and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Her most recent effort was in the 2016 short film A Tree, A Rock, A Cloud. She directed and starred in it and won Best Original Short at the Manchester Film Festival. Dennis Leary Dennis Leary gave a memorable performance as Stepdad Bill. He began his career as a comedian in the 80s and earned roles in films such as The Amazing Spider-Man, The Matchmaker, and The Thomas Crown Affair. He also co-created and starred in a popular TV show called Rescue Me. Dennis is also a familiar voice actor. He's brought several characters to life, including Diego in Ice Age and Francis in A Bug's Life. He even announced the 2004 World Series in a loving callback to the baseball-focused plot of The Sandlot. He's earned three Emmys throughout his career. He's also earned the Tribeca Film Festival Audience Award in 2012 for the film Burn, which he helped produce. James Earl Jones James Earl Jones played Mr. Myrtle, the owner of the neighborhood dog The Beast. His performance was short but memorable, and his character's touching backstory was made up on the spot. The Sandlot's child actors were excited to meet him and said he was great to work with despite only being on set for a day. Today, James is considered one of the most recognizable and versatile actors in the world. He began his career in 1957 and has been acting for decades. He played Darth Vader in the Star Wars trilogy, as well as voicing Mufasa in both the 1994 animated version and 2009 live-action version of The Lion King. He's also earned over 20 awards through his decades-long career. Mary Shelton Mary Shelton played Squince's crush, Wendy Peffercorn, in The Sandlot, a song by the Drifters played every time her character appeared. The film premiered five days before her 19th birthday. Wendy began her career with a part in the film Grand Canyon in 1991. This led to other roles in films like Never Been Kissed and Valentine. She later moved to indie projects like Just a Kiss and Sin City. Her role as Dr. Dakota Block in Quentin Tarantino's horror film Grindhouse also brought her recognition. Her most recent work includes the NBC show Rise and action film Rampage in 2018. Art LaFleur Character actor Art LaFleur's uncanny resemblance to Babe Ruth was perfect for The Sandlot. What made the casting even more ideal was that he already had experience playing baseball icons. He appeared as Chick Ganthill in the 1989 film Field of Dreams and the 1992 film Mr. Baseball. He acted in other films such as Man of the House and the iconic TV show MASH. He's also showed off his comedic chops as the Tooth Fairy in The Santa Claus 2 II and 3. Now it's time to hear from you. Which Sandlot cast member is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.